Hey guys, EVP Man here, and are you receiving this error message when using the new Samsung Health Monitor? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it and how to install it right. Now, yesterday, Samsung released the new ECG feature for the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. But many of you are saying that it's not working and that you're receiving this error message even though you have a compatible watch. So today, I'm gonna share with you how you need to install that software update and make it work and get around this error message. Well, actually, how do you fix this error message? So let's get right to it. Now, the very first thing that you wanna make sure is that you have the most current software version and the update on your Galaxy Watch Active 2 or Galaxy Watch 3. So I'm here in the Wear application. I'm gonna go into Watch Software Update, and then I'm gonna check and see if there is an update. Now, I've already applied it, but I'm just gonna show you, you know, what the experience is like. So what you should see if you have not updated or if the update is available, you should see this update here that I'm showing you. Basically it's saying, here's what's new, and it says uh, that it's added the ECG feature. That's what you're looking for. If you've not applied an update that has this um, message on it, it's not gonna work. So first step is to download it. So if you get this downloaded, you're halfway there. Now the next step is to go into the Galaxy Store and actually download the Health Monitor app. So I'm just gonna click on the search button and you'll notice that I already have it right here where it says Sampling Health Monitor. And what you're gonna find is when you do a search, you're not gonna find it. So I'm gonna include a link to it so that you can actually download it. Now that you've downloaded the app, and you've installed the update on your watch, the next step is this. You'll wanna go in and you'll go into your Galaxy Watch Active 2 or your Galaxy Watch 3 and you'll wanna power it off. If you don't do that, you'll receive this message, no compatible watch found. I've had this happen to both of my watches. So I'm gonna power it down and once I power it down and reconnect, the app will no longer have that error message. So now that you've updated your watch, you installed the app, and you turned off your watch and started it up again, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our Galaxy Watch, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the actual application itself. Now, one of the things that uh, it will do is it'll walk you through the process of setting up the app. It's actually gonna promote that you open up the app and put in your name, your age, and then um, register. Um, I've already done that, so the next step is to try this ECG feature. So I'm gonna rest my hand um, on the table here and then I'm gonna press on the side and you'll see how this is gonna work. Okay, so these are the results, right? It's giving me my details and it's asking me if I'm feeling well or not. If I go to my phone now, you notice here I have um, the recorded details and it's just communicating that things look normal. So that's how you fix the watch, the compatibility issues, and download the application.